Hi, this is Butterfly Lady, Suzanne Tilton, and I want to show you how I test monarch butterflies for OE. I have a few monarch butterflies that I raised. They were caterpillars that I gathered from the garden before there was a frost here in South Texas. Now, because I live in South Texas, I always test any of the butterflies that I raise because OE um, is very prolific in this area. So if you live in areas, especially in Florida, South Texas, maybe this along the Gulf Coast, where OE is prevalent, you probably want to learn how to do this. Initially, I was very intimidated about this process, but I want to try and show you exactly how easy it is. All you need is a little, um, very inexpensive, you can <clears throat> find these on Amazon. Uh, it has to have at least a 40, uh, uh, it has to magnify at least 40 times, but better if it magnifies uh, at least 100, this goes up to 150, so you can see the OE spores. You cannot see the OE spores with your naked eye. And the only way, even by looking at a monarch or even a caterpillar, you can't always tell if they have an OE. The only way you can tell is by looking at the scales of the butterfly with a microscope. So I'm going to turn this on and have it ready. It has a little light on it. There's a little tab here, but I don't typically use that. And I'm going to take, and the other thing you need is tape. And any kind of tape, I like to use uh, packing tape because it's very clear and it's very strong. And I already have my tape over here ready to go. So I'm gonna take out one of these butterflies. Also, I like to wear gloves because if there is OE on the butterflies, this will help prevent the spread. We'll take out one of these babies. I try and grab them with both wings closed. You want to hold the butterfly so that I kind of like to hold it like that to help the abdomen extend and also to prevent the wings from flapping around. Then I'm gonna take my tape right here, just a little piece of tape, and I'm going to place it on the abdomen. And then I have little spores on it, as you can see. Then I'm gonna place this on a piece of paper. I use index cards. And I'm going to put this guy in a separate cage so that I know that it has been tested. So now I have the spores, or I'm sorry, the scales of the abdomen. And that's the part that you want to test because the scales are more prolific on the abdomen of the butterfly. So you can see here. Then I'm going to take my microscope. I have to take my glasses off to do this. And I'm going to look, adjust by turning here the knob so that you can see the scales. Once you see the scales and they're clear, then if there's OE, it will be very obvious. But fortunately, this is an OE, uh, clean butterfly. There are no OE spores on here. So let me show you one more time what I do. I take the butterfly. Now these guys are really riley. Sometimes if they're too riley, you can put them in the refrigerator for about two minutes and they'll settle down. Again, I hold the butterfly. I want to try and get it to extend that abdomen. There we go. And I take my tape place it on the admin, abdomen, place it on the paper. Now, this guy I'm not going to put in here because he might have OE. And if he has OE, I don't want him infecting this. So right now, I'm just going to put him in this envelope temporarily. It won't hurt him.
And I'm going to check for OE again. And clean as a whistle. I'm, <clears throat> I'm almost sure none of these butterflies have OE because I use really good um, techniques and practices to prevent OE. Although you can't always guarantee that that will happen, but I've gotten pretty good at this procedure. Now, if you want to, I don't necessarily do this, but if I want to keep track of butterflies, I can uh, write down the date, whether the uh, butterfly was male or female and keep track that way. Now, since this butterfly is OE free, I will remove it and put it back in this page here on the left. But if this happened to be, happened to have OE spores on it, I would take the envelope, I would place it in the freezer and euthanize the butterfly. And I know that sounds cruel and it, it, it but um, we don't want to release butterflies that are infected with OE. We want to try and eliminate this because this is harmful to the butterflies. But at any rate, that's just a very simple procedure how I do it. If I do find OE in the butterflies, then it's very important that I clean my surface. I remove, just like you would at a hospital, remove your, butter, your gloves inside out, toss them, throw all this away and wipe down with a bleach solution. Uh, since I don't have OE, I'm not going to worry about that. Anyway, I hope that helped you understand a little bit how to test for OE. And I have to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Have a great day.